Julia. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video all about Renewing the Mind 101. This book has been birthed from a place that I've gone through for a number of years of discovering who I am in Christ and knowing what's available to me to have real transformation in my life. And I've shared this um, with a number of people and also in a ministry that I run called Tapestry Beauty. And I've shared, shared a lot of the concepts and from other well-known authors as well. And it's been amazing to see the transformation that has just happened in people's lives through this amazing gift that God has given us um, in Romans 12, one and two, which talks about being renewed in our mind and being transformed and it's it's an amazing process and so my reason for and my heart for wanting to write this study guide is because I felt like there wasn't enough resources out there to clearly give a step-by-step -step practical guide on how to renew our minds on why to renew our minds why it's so important um, and why we just really need to take the really dedicated time, the real consecrated time to align ourselves for who we truly are in Christ. Because many of us have been saved for so many years and we don't actually really know. Um, we know that it's really important to know our minds, but we don't really know how to go about doing it and in, 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 a, in, in a practical way. So I thought I would take this time in this first video just to break down how the study runs over the nine weeks and um, just to really give you a good guide of how to go along as you start this journey. So again, thank you so much for joining me um, in this time. So, so I've got some notes. <laughs> so the study is gonna run over nine weeks and that's actually 63 days. So. Um, for those who know the science behind how the mind works, um, we our minds change when we focus on a particular area for 21 days. Um, our, it's our thoughts and our mind starts to change. But when we do it for three rounds of 21, we actually end up really, this is when the real big change comes. Um, and yes, it does require time and it requires effort, but Really and truly, Renewing the Mind is very simple within itself, um, but quite labour intensive. And it really is up to you how much time you want to give. I mean, I feel like in the study that I've written, I'm kind of sitting in the middle uh, levels to a little bit higher of given the intensity that's needed to really see change and transformation. So I believe over these 63 days, all these nine weeks, whichever you want to call it, all these three rounds of 21 days that we're really going to see great fruit and transformation in our lives by the grace of God. So I just wanted to just say that up front, that it is intense, but it's not too intense. So you can be a beginner to renew the mind or you can be somebody who has been doing it for a while and just wants to have a more concrete plan. Um, and obviously, please be led by the Holy Spirit. Don't be... Um, don't you don't have to follow this to the T, um, but this is what's worked for me. Um, you know, I I had been renewing my mind for for many years, been Christian for many years, and I thought I knew what renew the mind was, um, but I wasn't seeing any change in my life, not dramatically. Um, and I was faced with a situation where I really, really needed to see transformation. Um, and so that's in my testimony within the book. So do take the time to read that. And I really pray that you're encouraged and you'll get my heart behind why I, God, I've learned this way through God and through other ministers as well. Um, and just been led by the Lord to, to do it this way. So I, I do believe in this and I do believe it really does work. Well, the word of God works. So it's, you know, so, right. So what are you going to need? You're going to need the book. You're going to need a new in the mind 101 that was written by myself. And you can find that on um, Amazon in Kindle version or a uh, book paperback version. And also on my website on sophiatucker.com, I have a PDF download as well of the book. Within the book, there's a lot of resources and worksheets that's going to help you when it comes to new the mind. And these are all free to download on my website. And also you, there are some in the back of the book if you have the paperback book. If you read it on Kindle, then you really are gonna need to go to the website and download all the worksheets. Um, you're gonna need a journal. 
journaling is amazing. Um, I love writing down all the words I've received from the Lord, from Holy Spirit and putting it down and, and kind of reviewing it. And even in some ways, renewing my mind to the things that God's already said to me or the revelations I got through scripture. So a journal is going to be really, really um, critical. It could be an online journal. I have online journals um, and also obviously, you know, paperback journals are great as well. Pen and paper. Um, you're going to need a phone uh, that has an alarm on it. Um, I use a program called Just Reminder. Um, throughout the study, every day, we're going to be setting alarms that's going to remind us to renew our mind. But I'll talk about more about that in a minute. Um, you're going to need a My Renewal Tracker form. I've created one for you and you can find that um, on the website, again, sophiatucker.com and, and in it, um, details just like helps you keep note of your progress over the next nine um, nine weeks. Really important to see your progress. Um, enemies sometimes can lie to us and tell us that we haven't really been um, renewing our minds. And then when you look back over time, you can say, yeah, I, I did it. So, so that's really handy. Uh, this YouTube channel, I'm going to be uploading a video uh, for each chapter um, or each week rather of the book and you're gonna I'll give you insights and tips and practical examples of um, some of the ways that are in this book that I've put in also I have a SoundCloud account um, and in there you'll see or you can hear some of the practical tools um, that I use um, in there and I that SoundCloud account is for a ministry that we run called Tapestry of Beauty and that is um, just equipping women um, in their walk with God and their mind renewal so in many different areas and so um, you'll see a mixture of uh, that and you'll see a lot about this as well okay so the study is broken down into nine weeks and each week there's a different topic so um, the first week, for instance, we're going to be focusing on Renewing the Mind 101. And then it goes into identity, uh, the living word, uh, biblical affirmations, um, our thought life, um, our focus on Christ um, and, the, and our minds and our thinking and our thoughts, um, fighting the good fight, because this is a it, it is a form of warfare. It's a form of battle. Um, and just what we need to do to stay on the course. Um, time management. We're going to be learning about how to manage our time when it comes to marginal, which is really, really important. And um, standing strong um, for the remainder of after this study or if you want to go around it again. Um, so each week we're going to be dealing with uh, one of those different areas. And also when you go into each week within the book at the very first page of each week, there's a weekly overview that I've put in there for you, which is going to tell you um, all the mind renewal tasks that you're going to need to do um, every day. So I've, 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 I've done it this way so that you can have a practical guide of what to do every single day for 63 days. So um, I've done that just to really help you. Um, if you feel like, you know what, I want to do something different, I don't mind. Um, the book is not about 100% following this plan. But what it is really important is that you are renewing your mind every single day. That That is really, really important and actually several times a day. Um, so talking about my renewal, um, every um, day, as I've said, there's a there's a my renewal plan and a task for you to do. Um we want you to go through the book and read each day and do the discussion questions. There's either discussion questions or there's assignments or there's something for you to do that is going to aid you in the understanding of the whys, the hows of renewing the mind. Um, and, and then also after each day, there are scripture prayers and affirmations that we're going to do every single day as well. And if you don't know about scripture prayers or affirmations, I really recommend um, skipping through the book and having a look at week four where I talk about biblical affirmations um, and scripture prayers as well.
So I think that that's really important if you've not heard of that concept before. And maybe I'll do another video on, well, I will, when I get to that week on scripture prayers and affirmations. So, um, so at the end of each week, um, there, there is normally, well, if you start on a Monday, there's going to be a, a, a daily discussion questions, uh, Bible study questions rather for you to do every single day, typically Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, but say like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you won't find um, discussion questions um, or by, I keep saying discussion questions, but what I mean is Bible study questions. But what I what I mean by that is um, that I really want you to take the time on weekends to really focus on uh, the things you've learned during the week and also um, using the scripture prayers and affirmations. So it's not a letdown on weekends. The weekends are typically the time when we kind of fall off the wayside. We think, okay, I can relax a bit, but it's not. But by all means, repeat some of the things we've done during the week. But whatever you do, make sure you're in your mind seven times a day at least, okay? So I'll go into that a bit more. So at the last few days of each week, you will see the breakdown of all the scripture prayers and affirmations we've done for that previous week. And that's what you're going to meditate on over the weekend or over the last couple of days, whenever the day you decided to do the study. Okay, so the My Renewal Plan. So what is it? Um, what does it entail? So before I go into that, some tips before we enter into this My Renewal. So really, really important is that you're spending time with the Lord. This is not a replacement of your time with the Lord. So what I mean with your time with the Lord is like what some of us would call our quiet time with the Lord. You know, you're doing, you're reading your Bible, you're praying, you're worshiping God. That is critical. Without doing that first, you're kind of missing the point. Um, but we need to have that relationship and cultivate that time with the Father. So I really want to stress that that is the number one first point when it comes to my renewal. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that you take a few moments to just bring uh, this minor time to the Lord. Thank him for everything he's going to do in advance. Um, ask him to help you be sensitive to Holy Spirit for him to direct you in what he wants you to do and what he wants you to receive. And so that's something that I really recommend. Um, and also I recommend, recommend that you have a time before you go to bed to just meditate on what you've learned throughout that day. Um, it can take a few minutes, but make sure it's the last thing you do before you go to bed. Um, not like when you're zonked out and you're about to fall asleep, but definitely, you know, if you're going to watch TV, watch TV and then we read a book, read your book, but then take the time to just meditate on the scripture prayer or all the scriptures that are in the back of the book or ones that you've chosen from the Bible or whatever you do um, make sure that you are doing a form of my renewal um, for a few moments before you go to bed. Okay, so how does the my renewal work? So I've already said step one, make sure you've had your quiet time of the Lord. Um, and step two, make sure that you've done your uh, the study, uh, Bible study questions throughout the book for that particular day. And then we're going to have a my renewal plan. So in weeks one and two, the first week is on all about mind renewal. And the second week is on identity. Um, those two weeks are really critical. Whether you've done mind renewal before or not, it's really, really, really important to kind of understand why we're renewing our mind. And I like to call it um, renew my mind to renew my mind about about renew my mind. Um, so I'll say that again, renew my mind about renew my mind. So if you don't really have an understanding about why it's so important and why it's necessary for us to renew our mind, you're going to get through a time when it's going to get difficult and you're just not going to want to continue. Um, or when really big challenges come up and you've got to still keep pressing into renewing your mind about that area, it, it helps to have that grounding. And then in the second week, I talk about identity and identity by I mean by knowing who you are in the, in Christ. So you really, I can't stress this enough. If you don't know who you are in Christ and if you don't know what's been made available to you, then you could start renewing your mind to things that aren't actually right and isn't what actually God was saying in the, in, in the Bible. Um, and so 
we really want to focus on those two areas, renewing our mind. So both to renewing the mind and the mind renewal process and then our identity. And then from week three to week nine, we're going to take a mountain that Holy Spirit brings to your attention that needs to be removed out of your life. Um, and so that mountain could be um, fear of travel. It could be a food addiction or fight food idol. It could be, um, you know, you might have an issue with anger, getting angry with your spouse or with your children, whichever one it is. And it can be anything um, that the Lord will bring to you. And he'll probably bring you several areas, but we're going to focus on one um, area for the remainder of the three from week three to week nine. And so that's what we, we what I mean when I say a mountain. Um, I try not to say your mountain or try to say it's my mountain, but just the mountain that God is trying to do with me, um, work through. And you'll understand that as you go through more about identity. Um, so, right. So every day, uh, as I said, there will be a mind renewal tasks for you to do and these are separate from the bible study questions in the book and for as i said for the first two weeks it'll be very simple it's gonna we're gonna build upon what we're learning every week so the first two weeks is going to be simply just renewing our mind to the scripture prayers and affirmations that i've put on both identity and renewing the mind so it's very very simple but we're building in that practice and so after you've done that mind renewal task you're going to take some time and you're going to ask the holy spirit um how can you turn what you've learned that day into what i like to call and is throughout the book faith actions so these are faith actions the things that you're going to do several times throughout the day and it can be as small as a minute i mean you don't really want it more than that um but a minute to two minutes that you're going to do several times a day to reinforce what you've learned that day or what you've been learning that week and so it could be something like um the Lord might say to you, take the scripture prayer that was for that day um, and you're going to pray that scripture prayer every day uh, or that day, seven times a day. Um, and obviously you would set your alarm to remind you it might be something else. I mean, it could be um, it could be affirmations. It could be um doing mirror exercises which you can find in the appendix which is when you look at yourself in the mirror and you're confessing uh, who you are in Christ and what God says about you and and how much he loves you and on all these different things but you could just take a few if it's going to take quite a while for you but this is really important we have to it's not enough to just renew your mind uh once a day it's the consistency that's really important and you'll see that throughout the book that i really really stress the importance of consistency and being focused so that is what we do with the faith actions and in your mind renewal tracker you can keep track of all these things i've made enough space for all these things um for you to keep track of that's really going to help you um to just kind of see what, what, where you've been and where you're going in the direction of that. One other thing I forgot to mention is a really good tip when renewing your mind is every time you've done a mind renewal session, not the every one minute thing several times a day, but when you've done your first initial time of renewing your mind, you really want to journal. You really want to write down what the Lord speaks to you about and what he shows you. And in, in the daily mind renewal task that I've put for you, you'll see that I have given some uh, questions or space uh, for you to think about writing down in your journal some of the things that you've received. Um, you could do a journal or I said you could use the Renew in the Mind Tracker. So either one is fine. And so that's the that's the mind renewal plan really so just to recap this study is for nine weeks which is 63 days for the first two weeks we're going to focus on mind renewal for week one and identity for week two and then from weeks three to nine we have um we're going to tackle a mountain that god wants you to see see you break free from through the remaining of the week. So 
that area, you'll have plenty of time over the next two weeks to really seek the Lord about what area he wants you to tackle first in your life, what area needs the greatest mind renewal right now. So um, then you're going to need the book, you're going to need the worksheets, which you can find at sophiatucker.com or in the appendix. You're going to need all those things to help you. You're going to need a phone with an alarm. You're going to need a journal. Carve some time out in your timetable as well, um, in your schedule of, of when you're going to do this. So make sure, number one, that you've gone through the study, uh, Bible study questions for that day. Um, make sure you've done that. And you you can do that anytime you want to. Um, but then make sure that every morning you pick up the book, you have a look at what the mind renewal plan is for that day. And then you're going to do the task that's been set out. And as I said, the first two weeks is really simple. It's meditating or renewing your mind using the scripture prayers and affirmations. But as we go into the later, latter weeks, there's going to be more mind renewal tasks set for you. And you can find that overview in the first page of every new week throughout the study. And so step one, make sure you have your quiet time. Step two, make sure you've done the, the study for the day. Uh, Step three, you're going to do the mind renewal plan that, as I said, is at the beginning of each week. You're going to do your faith actions seven times a day at least. And you're going to make sure you set an alarm um, to remind you to do that. And then also have a time before you go to bed for a few minutes to renew your mind. Um, and that's it. Oh, and make sure that you have a time of thanksgiving and um, worship uh, before the Lord. And so I hope that all makes sense. I do recommend that you have a look in the book and just refresh your mind. And I've put an overview at the beginning of every week so you won't forget what you're going to need. There is a bit of going back and forth throughout the book. Um, I really hope and pray that this time of going through um, Renew the Mind 101 will be a great eye opener to you of the power of renewing your mind and this amazing power that God has given us to enable us to see true transformation in life. Lining yourself up to who you are in Christ is so important. Knowing about the depths of why we do mind renewal is so important. But also, which is so critical that so many of us miss out on, is how do I do it? What do I do every day? What are the different tools? What are the things that I can do to renew my mind? What does God say in the word about renewing my mind and how to do it? All of that, I hope and I pray that as you read the book, you'll agree with me that I hope and believe is in this book. So if you have any questions, please do email me on um, info at sophiatucker.com. And if you're looking for an accountability group, please do find us on Facebook, Tapestry of Beauty. Um, if you're watching this and you're already part of Tapestry of Beauty, hi, and hi ladies. It is a, a, a women's group, uh, a ladies only group. Sorry guys. Um, but if you do, if you are a, a gentleman and you do need some advice, then please do email and I can direct you in the right, in the right place to help you through this journey. So yeah, so I'm really excited for you. I'm really excited for the next nine weeks. And please do let me know how you're getting along. If you're in our Facebook group, then obviously I'm going to see how you're doing. And uh, I promise you that by the mercies of God and by the grace of God, that if you give everything you've got to this process, that you will see transformation like it's been in my life and so many other people's lives, that it's just going to just blow your mind literally um so i pray that you'll have a great day and a blessed time and thank you again god bless bye